Ever since I posted this clip to YouTube, people have been asking me how do I play that section of the livestream version of Heavy Dirty Soul. I've seen it in the comment section of this video. I've seen it back when I did this for Justin for Cyban way back in June. I've seen a lot of people ask for tabs. I learned this song by ear, but just for you, I'll include tabs in this video because we're gonna learn how to play that song. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on when you're watching this. How's it going, guys? First off, I hope you're having a good day today. Hope your day's going well. Here is how to play the very end of the live stream version of Heavy Dirty Soul. Let's get right into it. For this song, we're going to be in standard tuning, and we're going to start at the very last pre-chorus of the song when this pretty clean part comes in. So on and so forth until we get to the heavy feedback section at the very end of the song. Let me clean up this guitar tone. We'll talk about tone in a moment, but let's go ahead and learn the actual part first. So you're going to go to the D string, 12th fret. Then go to the G string, 14th fret. It's basically your power chord shape here. Then go up to the 13th fret of the high E string. I'm doing the first two, the 12th fret and the 14th fret with my index finger and my ring finger so my middle finger can go ahead and reach that high E string no problem. Then you're gonna go to the 12th fret of your high E string. Then the 10th fret of the high E. So we get a nice little walk down. One more time, slow down. And then there you can go down to the B string 10th fret, 11th fret B string, then back to your 10th fret. And that is all of it. Then it's just getting up to speed with it. And just keep looping it and looping it, looping it until you get it up to speed. If you start out. That is not a problem whatsoever. It's a great mini exercise to build up speed. Now the tone of how Dan is playing this on the live stream experience, he is using a single coil guitar. I'm using this one with humbuckers, but you can still get a pretty close tone. Basically, you need just a clean signal like this one, then throw on some reverb, and then some chorus to get that tone. Some nice slap, nice short reverb and or slap back delay and then throwing on some chorus really makes the tone. Now let's go ahead and learn the heavy section of the song. Here's a quick playthrough of the heavy part. <laughs>
All right, let's get into how to play the part. Of course, the main difference between this and the other section is that you throw a lot more distortion on this tone. But to teach you how to play the part, I actually switched over to a clean sound, so that way you can hear how everything sounds clearly. And it'll sound weird at first, but when you throw distortion on, it will all make sense. So, it all starts out on the 10th fret of the D string. Then you're going to go up to the 12th fret of the D string. So. Then you're going to go up to the 14th fret of your G string. Then you're going to go down to the 12th fret of your A string. Thirteenth fret of your A string. And then repeat that again. So twelfth fret. Thirteen. So what we got so far. And then from here, you're going to go up to the 19th fret of your G string. But for some reason, if you can't go up there, you can go up to the 15th fret of your B string. Same note, at least on mine. Slightly out of tune notes, but same note on the fret board. So, you're going to go either 15th fret or of your B or 19th fret of your G. I go for the 19th fret, so. And then you're going to go to the 19th fret of your A string and just slowly bend that one up. And back down. And if you want to do this a little bit lower, you can go to your 14th fret of your D string. If you just want to stay within this box right here. So either or So going into the previous section into that And then from there, you're going to go back down to your 12th fret of your A string. Back to your 13th fret. This time we don't repeat it. We actually go down to the low E string 10th fret. And then big power chord at the end. So that final section... Now let's go ahead and go through it all slowly. I will call out fret numbers as we do this. Personally, as you've seen, I'm going to go up to the high 19th frets, but you can go 15, 14. I will try my best to shout those ones out. So get ready, 10th fret of your D string. So 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 12, 12, 12, 14 G, 12 A. 12, 12, 13, 13, 12, 12, 12, 
13, 19, G, 19, 19, 19, 19, bends. 12, 12, 12, 13, 10. The final component of this song that makes this lead line sound so cool is we just need to add vibrato. So if you don't know what vibrato is, basically you are kind of bending the note, but in a singer-like fashion. So if I took a phrase like, I don't know. And then you hear that tiny bend at the end kind of makes it sound more musical in phrases and or you can go completely off the rails of it and make it sound like something else which is what the ending of heavy dirty soul does so i'm just going to play it straight no just no vibrato whatsoever just so you can hear what it sounds like Kind of sounded a bit boring and stale. When you add the vibrato onto it, Kind of makes it sound more like that warbly synth at the very end of the studio recording. So, you just want to add some subtle vi not too much vibrato. If you add too much... Then it's just starting to sound crazy and really doesn't fit with the. Maybe it does, maybe it does, but just a tiny vibrato on every single note. will make all the difference in the world. And you can practice your vibrato just by doing one note. And you can go through the entire phrase, work on your vibrato. The only one that really doesn't get vibrato is that bend. Just because you're already bending it and bending it back down. You really don't need a vibrato it. But adding that vibrato onto the lead line will definitely make it sound like the very ending of the studio recording of Heavy Dirty Soul, which is why Dan is amazing just thinking how to do that part. But that's how you play it. And there you guys have it. That was how to play the ending of the live stream version of Heavy Dirty Soul. Definitely really, really fun to play. I'll eventually do a lesson on how to play the full version of Jumpsuit Heavy Dirty Soul, but today I'll just teach the ending. I plan on doing more guitar lessons now. Felt good to do this one. I used to do a lot of guitar lessons for 20 Pod songs on the channel. I need to get back into the habits, but we'll start off with this one today because I get uh, asked how to play this one specifically a lot. So there you guys have it. I, if you, whatever guitar lesson you want to see, just let me know down in the comment section below and I'll go ahead and I'll make a lesson on it because I think those will be fun. Those will be fun to get into that habit again. Anyway, I'm rambling now, so I will see you all later. Goodbye, and good night. More importantly, have a good day, and I'll see you later.